Hey guys, today we're talking about grid tie versus off-grid solar systems. We're going to go through the advantages and disadvantages. We're going to go through the equipment needed for both types of setups. And we're going to actually explain what exactly the differences are between the two. So let's first start with the grid tie solar system. Grid tie solar system, you set up your solar panels. You run them through the inverter, through the charge controller, back to the grid. And basically what it does is it works with your electrical panel and your electrical meter to basically roll back some of your electric bill. You're sharing the power with the grid and you're using the power as well. So that's one way of staying with the power. The only difference is that it's not completely off grid and if power is lost by the electric company, so the electric company is able to repair their equipment, they completely shut off your system. So in that case, you might wanna set up what's known as a hybrid power system, which is shown on the right here, which you still have a battery bank of reserve power. So this way you're never really set against the uh, system if power is lost you still have battery power stored so you're never going to lose and go completely blacked out uh, versus now uh, a completely off-grid system is no reliance on the grid at all you're just basically taking the solar panels that are set up on your roof running them through the charge controller running them through the power inverter and charging up your battery bank what you're going to do then is with your stored power from your battery bank, you're going to use that to run all your electronics and appliances. When you're running a complete off-grid system, the setup is very important. you got to make sure that you have enough batteries, enough solar exposure to run your equipment. Now, if you don't have enough batteries, there's going to be times where the power runs out and you're not going to be able to run any of the equipment. Another thing that's important to look at is when you're setting up the battery bank, you want to have enough power that you're able to charge with your solar array just enough. You don't want to overcharge the batteries because then they damage and they don't last as long. And you don't want to undercharge them as well because then you won't have enough power to run your equipment. So the setup is very important. You could always contact us at powerinverters.com. We have all the uh, technicians here that can help make sure that you're going to get enough of a solar array and a large enough battery bank for your system. Basically, if you're setting up the two systems, you're going to need your power inverter, but the power inverter is going to need to be sized right based on your usage, based on your needs. So all the equipment is basically set up and it needs to be set up correctly. That's very important. Your system is key. Your setup is key. So contact us at powerinverters.com for more help. Uh, we'll be happy to help you with the calculations, walking you through the setup, helping you with the equipment, making sure the equipment is right for your area along with your needs. A lot of times people set it up and they don't put a factor in of where they are, what type of solar exposure they get, how much sun time they get. Sun time is based on the amount of solar exposure you get in the day during the peak solar exposure, not just sun that's actually out. You need to know what type of area you're in and there's ratings for all the different places. So looking into it is very, very important. So contact us if you need more information.